first wanted to recognize that we respectfully acknowledge that we are on the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisage Anishinaabeg. We offer our gratitude to the First Peoples for their care and teachings about our earth. May we honor these teachings. Welcome to Mad Science with Atlas. This week's camp theme is Eco Adventure. So today we are going to be learning about how to make DIY water filters. For this activity, you will need one large pop bottle that's been rinsed out, some coffee filters, some sand, an elastic band, some rocks, as well as some dirty water. In order to get dirty water, you can simply pour yourself a glass of water and put some dirt or sand in and mix it around. You will also need some scissors and The first thing we're going to be doing is cutting our pop bottle in half. So it's really helpful if you take a marker and draw a line around your pop bottle where you're going to cut it. Once you do need to cut it, it's important that you also ask an adult for help. The scissors are sharp and the pop bottle is not the easiest thing to cut. You're going to cut your pop bottle along the lines until it's completely detached from the bottom. Now you should have a top and a bottom. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top of the pop bottle with the cap removed and place the coffee filters, one or two of them, on the top. Once you like where your coffee filter is placed, you can grab your elastic band and wrap it around the coffee filter at the top of the pop bottle. You want to make sure that the elastic band is very tight and holding it in place because the coffee filter will prevent all of our other ingredients from falling out of our filter. Now that we have our coffee filters on, we want to add our next ingredient. We're going to use the bottom of the pop bottle as a stand for the top, as well as for a catcher for the water that's going to run through our filter. So you wanna take the top of the pop bottle and place it inside the bottom. The next thing we're going to add to our filter is some sand. Take your sand and dump quite a bit of it into the filter. The coffee filters will prevent it from falling through. Once your sand is in your filter, you want to pack it down using your fingers or another tool, like even the cap. Make sure that your sand is nice and packed down and that you can no longer see into the bottom of the pop bottle. to place your rocks right on top of the sand. Again, packing it down, making sure that the layer of rocks you've now put on has covered all of the sand. Now that we've added the rocks to our filter, we can add our dirty water and see how well it gets filtered. My water that I'm adding is very dirty. I've added topsoil and sand and mix it all around. I'm going to slowly add some of my water into the filter. It may take a while for the water to go through the filter and be seen at the bottom, so just be patient. Our filter is complete and we've added lots of water. It's going to take a while for the water to filter through and be seen at the bottom, so it's best that we say bye to our filter for now and go and do another activity. Hi everyone and welcome back to Mad Science with Atlas. I hope you've had fun creating your filter and have had a chance to send some water through your filter. You may have to send your dirty water through your filter a couple times before it starts to get clear. My water went through my filter many times before I noticed it being clear. Even now, it's still a little cloudy, but all of the big chunks of dirt and sand are out of it, which is awesome. I encourage you to try this experiment 
experiment again and use some different materials in your filter to see if it helps filter water even better. I hope you've had a fantastic time and thank you so much for participating in today's activity. Please feel free to share with us a picture of your filter or your dirty water once it's run through your filter on Facebook. I look forward to seeing it.